Welcome back to our channel. We're back for our viewer with a new interesting and exciting video. On our channel this time, we want to talk about 10 insane inventions for firefighters and police. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like button for regular updates. Number 10 is Bola Wrap. The system is marketed to departments worldwide as a non-lethal tool for law enforcement officers to use when attempting to apprehend individuals who do not comply with orders, particularly those who may be having a mental health problem or who are under the influence of drugs or alcohol. For an officer determining whether to approach someone or to use a potentially lethal weapon, BOLA rep representatives claim, This system is particularly useful for the apprehension of criminals with mental disabilities. According to producer, the device launches an 8-foot tether at 513 feet per second to restrain a subject 10 to 25 feet away. The bowler wrap and all its related equipment, including a holster and cartridges, can cost between a thousand and thirteen hundred per device, the manufacturing company said. Number nine is the sound cannon. Weapons of different kinds that use sound to harm, hinder, or kill an adversary. Some sound weapons are currently limited or used by military and police forces in research and development. Less powerful sound waves can cause nausea or discomfort in humans. In both anti-citizen special operations and crowd control environments, these frequencies used to incapacitate citizens has occurred. As a burglar deterrence, high amplitude noise with a particular pattern is used at a frequency similar to the sensitivity peak of human hearing, 2 to 3 kilohertz. Some security forces used sound cannons against demonstrators. Less powerful sound waves can cause humans to experience nausea or discomfort. The use of these frequencies to incapacitate persons has occurred both in anti-citizen special operation and crowd control settings. High amplitude sound of a specific pattern at a frequency close to the sensitivity peak of human hearing, 2 to 3 kilohertz, is used as a burglar deterrent. Some police forces have used sound cannons against protesters. It has certain extra oral bio effects on different internal organs and the central nervous system, such as auditory changes, changes in vibrotactile sensitivity, muscle contraction, and growth in cardiovascular function. It also affects your central nervous system, the effects of the vestibular, inner ear, and the chest wall or lung tissue. It has also affected divers and aquatic mammals may also suffer lung and sinus injuries from high-intensity low-frequency sound. The ease with which low-frequency sound passes from water into a body but not into any gas pockets in the body reflects the sound due to mismatched acoustic impedance. Ultrasound weapons are much more effective underwater. Number 8. Bulletproof Origami Thanks to this folding origami shield, putting up a secure bulletproof barrier is now quicker than ever. This device is made of 12 layers of woven Kevlar, which expands around the officer when constructed. At only 55 pounds, 25 kilograms, the barrier is almost half the weight of current steel-based shields and can safely protect two to three people at once. It is sturdy enough to resist 44 Magnum bullets and is built to fold up easily for fast and comfortable transport. Number 7 is the TED Flashbang Alternative. For preparation, protest, SWAT, corrections, and more, the Tactical Electronic Diversion System, TED, is for use. The TED, sold by Fox Fury, should only be used by professional experts. The lithium-ion rechargeable battery pack is built in and is rechargeable and reusable. Charging the TED is robust by adding the DC adapter that will be included. The TED has a solid steel frame, a polycarbonate side at high temperature, and a nylon top sheet. When overturned, the heavy foundation is built to the right itself. It is submersible at 3.3 meters 10 feet, and is resistant to impact. Eight programmable light and sound modes and four programmable activation delays are available. The battery can be powered and it utilizes the brightest, latest LED technology. Rechargeable and intrinsic options are available. All lights are waterproof, all weather and impact resistant. This application-specific LED lights are used by firefighters, police, military, industrial safety, hazardous area, filming, and photography. Number 6 
is the Rook. The Rook is a real game changer when it comes to tactical operations. A packed deck full of protective features such as NIJ Level 4 armor, weapons portholes, custom bulletproof glass mounted, and more allows a calm mind to work with the police squad. It enables security personnel to enter previously off-limits to armored vehicles, transport, or surveillance to crowded indoor-outdoor environments, including areas where small robotic video cameras cannot access. Barricade perpetrators, riot scene, natural disaster, and reacting to every critical incident with the Rook's task-related attachments are the specific mission and moving between them quickly and easily. The Rook comes standard with a transport trailer, accessories, and a cozy operator compartment. It is deployment ready, everything you need to face complex threats. The shield features two sliding center doors and bat wing doors on the outer edges, plus independent power for two go lights. The ADP provides room for up to four fully dressed officers and is equipped with two locking gun ports, four 5-inch by 9-inch sliding gun ports, four bulletproof glass sight ports, and two wireless video cameras attached to the front of the platform with a video feed to the equipment operator. The machine allows a bomb squad to be delivered closer to a suspicious device's proximity, eliminating long walking distances in heavy protective gear. Number 5 is the Firebombing Drone. The Firebombing Drone is fitted with a coaxial rotor system measuring 11 feet in diameter. The drone is just over 9 feet long and only under 6 feet high. With an empty weight of 350 pounds, the UAV comes in, rising to a maximum takeoff weight of 573 pounds. The firm reports that its aircraft would have four hours of airtime flying at a top speed of 62 miles per hour, powered by two 34 horsepower water cooled gasoline engines. Number 4 is the Autonomous Firefighting Drone. The new Ehang 216 firefighting variant, Ehang 216F, is designed explicitly for high rise firefighting applications. The drone can hold six fire extinguisher bombs and 150 liters of firefighting foam within a range of five kilometers from the station on a single ride. This cargo should be enough to eradicate fire in one or more buildings, but since drones can work in groups, multiple 216Fs can be deployed to extinguish the fire even faster or for more massive fires. Via its visible light zoom camera, the intelligent 216F can quickly identify the location of the fire. When the camera detects the fire, it hovers precisely in place and uses lasers to fire a window breaker, followed by a full-range spray of white firefighting foam and fire extinguishing bombs. The fully armed Ehang 216F AAVs with a command and control system provides a solution for a wide range of services, including rescue, surveillance, emergency management, and firefighting. Number 3 is the Thermite RS3. A super high volume, low gravity core, large chassis in industrial firefighting robot is the Thermite RS3. The RS3 remotely controls a belly pack controller that offers high definition video feedback for ultimate maneuverability in challenging conditions. The compact configuration and broader stance of the RS3 enable additional equipment including a plow assembly and a ventilator for positive pressure ventilation PPV. RS3 is built using reinforced rubber tracks of industrial grade steel and can handle rough terrain and withstand exposure to harsh environments. Number 2 is the see-through device. See-through, an augmented wearable reality monitor mounted within the mask of a regular firefighter. It can see through the darkness and see through smoke. The second step was to simplify it to reduce and make it much clearer, only object edges and contours. The difference becomes evident as one steps into the smoke out training course. The surroundings are captured by a thermal camera attached to the mask. The see-through computer processor adds green lines that highlight walls, door frames, even a body lying on the floor. Number 1 is the battery-powered fire truck in the US. 
The incoming vehicle, which meets all of the National Fire Protection Association standards, uses two batteries with a charge capacity of 100 kilowatt hours. It should allow for approximately two hours of top electrical service with an onboard diesel generator capable of recharging the batteries on site in just 15 minutes if necessary. The fire truck also has a lightweight design and a modular interior in addition to its green credentials, meaning firefighters can mount their equipment in almost any way they want. It also has a tight turning radius and quicker acceleration than its current vehicles, according to LAFD leader Ralph Terrazas. The electric fire engine is a revolutionary technology that will help minimize noise and toxic diesel emissions while providing a technologically advanced platform with a versatile tool for firefighting and rescue operations. The electric truck will be stationed in Hollywood at Fire Station 82, with Terrazas describing it as a good match due to the danger of brush and narrow roads that are frequently congested. To ensure the vehicle is still able to respond to emergency calls, the LAFD aims to equip the station with rapid charging technology. We enjoy you to please use our comments section to reach us and we will always be here to attend to your comments. I hope you like our video. Do not forget to sign up for our YouTube channel. Continuously tap the bell icon to see our new and exciting videos update.